If you are using LinkedIn Easy Apply button to apply for new job opportunities, then you are completely wasting your chances because there are only 0.1% chances for you to get shortlisted because there are a lot of people who are now using AI agents to automate the entire process of or applying to new job opportunities using easy apply and uh, just to give you an example like there is an open source project and a lot of people are already have started to use this that is browser use and are already have posted one video for this that how you can set it up in your machines so if you want to take a look at it uh, you can definitely use it but i don't encourage people to use ai agents to apply for jobs because at the end of the day uh, job posting is for a human not for an ai agent okay so the difference should be there but a lot of people are already using it so that is why i am telling you that if you are using linkedin easy apply option to apply for new jobs then you are definitely wasting your time Another major mistake that I have seen people are making these days is they are not creating ATS friendly resume. ATS is basically applicant tracking software and most of the fortune 500 companies have started to use it in almost early 2020s and now almost every startup mid tier company MNC have started to use ATS because number of applications that are being received by companies is so high the count is so high that they are unable to review the application so that is why they need to deploy ATS software to track the applications to shortlist the application then only a real human or a real recruiter can review the profile or approach the candidate for further interview rounds okay so first thing first we need to create a resume that is ATS friendly and you should definitely at least score 80 out of 100 to get shortlisted for a job opportunity okay so I've already created one video how you can create a ATS friendly resume I will link it somewhere here and in the video description section you can take a look at it now how you can create a ATS friendly resume I'll just give you a brief overview so ATS works basically on keywords okay so whatever keywords that you find in a job description right so those keywords should be present in your resume secondly it's not only about that if software testing is mentioned and you need to create RTM that is requirement traceability metric so this keyword is particularly mentioned in job description right so you will just copy and paste it in your resume so it will help you to get shortlist it does not work like that but you need to give a proof for that how have you actually utilized that keyword into your work experience so add some quantification value add some practical experience using that keyword so that will help you to get shortlisted in ATS software okay <clears throat> and still if you create ATS friendly resume that does not guarantee that you will get shortlisted because most of the time that I have tried to use ATS right so I already have set up a ATS software in my machine although these softwares are paid tools so Workday and Telio is these are two softwares that are being mostly used in the top MNCs and startups these days so if you want you can also install it but these are paid tools okay so if you want you can try it at your own end but once when I try to use it then definitely my resume also got rejected by them because of a certain difference in job description so that's why we need to create a tailor-made resume for each job opportunity we cannot have a generic resume and we can use that generic resume to apply for 100 plus job opportunities we need to now customize each resume to that specific job opportunity and then go and apply to that job opportunity right so that is how we need to start incorporating some smart work to get shortlisted these days okay and obviously if you know LinkedIn is the number one platform in which the number of job opportunities that are being posted to hire software developers software testers is the highest in count but still almost 65 percent job opportunities that are being posted on linkedin are ghost jobs okay so that means basically a company is trying to be in the news first thing or a company is trying to update the pool of employees that they can hire in upcoming six months okay so basically what happens is in most of the service-based companies they need to hire talent on the basis of which they 
get clients okay so if you want to get a client into the company right so they need to showcase that they have this talent in the company and this talent will help the client to work upon a project okay so if a company does not have employees within it to support the client work so they might hire they might post a job opportunity and within that client uh, employee pool or the people who are applying for the job they will use that pool to attract the client okay so that is another reason that companies might post an opportunity but they are not actually hiring so these jobs can be called as ghost jobs so now let's just discuss about what can be some updates that you can do to get shortlisted in more companies okay so first thing first stop using easy apply option and start focusing on the companies who are posting directly through their company job portal or career portal okay so i've already shared one application that is testing daily application you can use that application and go to the job section i have already created one video on that i will share that link in the video description why do i say this because companies who are posting jobs through their career portal are more serious to hire employees and they are more focused on their process of hiring okay so that's why they're not using linkedin to get employees or get candidates okay they are using linkedin just to showcase that they have this job posting now but they will use their own process of hiring okay so that's why start utilizing company specific career portals and you can also see that the number of applications will be comparatively less as to the jobs which are being posted using easy apply okay so the shortlisting chances are much greater than as compared to easy apply job job opportunities okay so another way that you can maximize your shortlisting chances are that to reach out to people who are already working in that company suppose like if i want to apply for a job in google right so i will use google career portal to apply for a job opportunity and then i will definitely reach out to people on linkedin who are already working in google with that specific role position and domain okay so that will enhance my chances of getting shortlisted why because first thing first do not send them a message asking for a referral or for a job opportunity send them a message discussing about or asking about how does the company culture is what technology stack are you guys using okay so these can be some examples of sending messages and you can personalize them more by discussing or researching about the company okay never use chat gpt templates or internet templates that are available freely okay personalize each message to all the people whom you are sending messages because if you are sending a chat gpt based template message okay they will definitely get to know it just by watching that message and they will never reply to it okay so this happens with me also so i am speaking with experience okay so whenever you are sending a dm or a email make sure that it is personalized once your resume is getting shortlisted you need to also make sure that your linkedin profile is in sync with your resume or the profile which you have shared with the recruiter through the job portal right so linkedin should be updated with all the latest information okay so what you can do is you can update your profile headline so if you want just to take a reference from my linkedin profile i will share a link in the description okay just take a reference from it and look at my linkedin headline look at my linkedin bio or summary section take a look at at my skills section and all the work experiences okay so i have listed down each step or you can say each skill when and where did i use that skill okay and how that skill helped me to solve a problem okay so similarly you need to update this strategy into your resume as well so whenever you are applying for a job you need to use that keyword when using that keyword you need to make sure that you add a work experience and with that work experience you make sure that that how did you solve a problem okay so that is how the strategy needs to be created okay so similar strategy will be used in your resume and similar strategy will be used in your linkedin profile okay so that is how you need to update and play around with linkedin algorithm because if you are not using these strategies then definitely you are just wasting your time by applying to 1000 2000 jobs a day and still you will never make it to the pool of people who are actually getting shortlisted okay another thing that you can start utilizing is by, is by creating your linkedin network okay start engaging with the people whom you are connected on linkedin start doing this and this will definitely help you to get a new job opportunity okay so obviously if you are trying to be dependent on other people 
this is not the case this is not the case anymore okay stop being dependent on other people for getting a job opportunity for getting a referral make sure that you are so strong you have so such a strong network on linkedin that whenever you are looking for a switch or whenever you are looking to get a new job opportunity you can just post one job update that you are looking for a new job opportunity and you get almost 100 referrals okay that is how you should build your linkedin network uh, another reason for not getting shortlisted is that you are not creating any projects or you the projects which you have created that are present on github those are just empty repositories with code present in it okay nobody is going to review the code which you have written okay we need to understand what did you achieve by creating that project okay so i will leave a link for my github profile okay and just look at my top github five github repositories and you will get to see how how do i create the readme section okay so the readme section of a github repository is the most important aspect of the project okay nobody is going to review the code i am repeating again everybody will look at the readme section they will look at what infographics you have created how did you write the code what problem did you solve and how did you achieve that solution okay so these are some things which we need to know and these things will only be get to know by watching or reading your readme section in the github repository okay so please update your github repository with the readme section and also make sure to watch my github repository because you will definitely get some ideas take it as a reference i hope that whatever things i mentioned in this video these will help you to get shortlisted and make some updates in your profile resume and linkedin so if you like this video then definitely share it with your friends or colleagues or maybe on your linkedin post okay because this definitely help me to reach out to more people and consider subscribing to the channel and also to get all the free stuff and all access to my courses i will share those links in the description section you can take a look at it